and welcome back to Marco in a Box. This is Marco and this is Alan and we're back with another Italian challenge. So you can all learn from my mistakes. So today we're going to talk about false friends. And false friends are not friends who are pretending to be friendly with you and then they stab you in the back. But they're actually words in one language that resemble a word in another language but actually their meaning is completely different. So an example of a false friend is the word camera. That is a camera, yes. But what does camera mean in Italian? I learned it means room. So now we're going to go through some words in Italian and I'm going to say what I think they mean based on what they sound like in English and then I find out what they really mean. So are you ready? I'm ready. Attualmente. Attualmente. Like actually? It means currently or now. So when we watch the news, attualità is the current affairs. Actually in Italian means in realtà. So really. Ah, alright, okay. Caldo. Cold. <laughs> so you should know this word, Alan. Caldo, which sounds a lot like cold, actually means hot. I did, I did know that one. I learned that one very, very That is really confusing. Super confusing. Cold is freddo. <laughs> Casino. Casino. <laughs> That's a really common mistake as well, because actually casino means mess or confusion. Oh. And casino, as you say in English, is called casino. So it has an accent on the O. Comprensivo. Comprehensive. Comprensivo actually means understanding, versus comprehensive is... You should know that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have to look that up. Comprehensive actually means completo. Oh, this is a good one. Confetti. Confetti. We say confetti. And confetti are sugar almonds that we use um, especially for weddings. Versus the confetti that you guys are throwing are the coriandoli. 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 Which is not coriander, that's something else again. Crudo. Crude. Well, crude actually means raw. And that's why we call prosciutto crudo. Crude is volgare. Bad. Well, that is very like in English. Vulgar. Vulgar. Yeah. Educazione. Education. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really common mistake again to make. Educazione is good manners. Education is instruzione. So, educazione is something that you get from your parents. Istruzione is something you get from school. Eventualmente. Eventually. Nope. In case. In case. So. Oh, in you know, the eventuality. if it rains, oh. uh, eventualmente, uh, I'll uh, take okay. the umbrella. I see the connection though, because it's mm -hmm. like, in the event of, rather than eventually. And eventually means, uh, alla fine, finalmente. Finalmente. Fabrica. Fabric. Sounds a lot like fabric, which is the tessuto in Italian, versus uh, fabrica means factory. Uh, we make things. Fabricate things. Yes. Okay. Fastidioso. Fastidious? Nope. So fastidious is pignolo, so a very fastidious person, like picky, right? Mm -hmm. Versus fastidioso means annoying. So an annoying person is fastidiosa. Una persona fastidiosa. Sometimes fastidious people can be annoying. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> Fattoria. Factory. That sounds like factory. That sounds a lot like factory, but uh, factory as we saw earlier, is a fabrica. Fattoria is actually a farm. That, that's quite confusing. And so the farman, yes. farman? Farmer. Farmer is the fattore. Not to be confused with fattone, which is something completely different in Italian. Firma. Firm as in solid or firm like a company? As a company. Mm -mm. So firma is a signature. Right. Okay. And a firm in the company side of things is like azienda. 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 Gentile. Gentile. So gentile. gentle means delicato, but gentile is a nice person. Like a gentleman kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. Libreria. Library? <laughs> so it's not a library, but it's a bookstore. Oh, right. right. So okay. versus a library is biblioteca. Okay. So I was close enough. Morbido. Like morbid, like... No. Morbido is soft. So someone soft. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> soft as in like, you know, like, smooth. And 
Okay, <laughs> I let that one slide. You rescued that one. Morbid is morboso. Morboso. Noioso. Like noisy? Noioso is someone boring or something boring. Noisy is rumoroso. Rumoroso. Yeah. That's good. It's kind of onomatopoeic a little bit, yeah. isn't it? Rumoroso. Rumoroso. Parente. Parents. Which I know that I know it isn't because <laughs> I spent enough time with your parents to know that. This is true, quite confusing because but... uh, parente means relative and not parent. Parent is genitore. Parents is genitori. Preservativo. Preservative. Preservative in English. No. Preservative in Italian okay. is <laughs> conservante, which is something you add to food. In Italian, preservativo means condom. To preserve your good health and pretendere to pretend so pretendere in italian is to expect something to pretend is fare finta fare finta finta yeah what's finta because you know fare is to like do or make something so um so it's like fingere so fare finta is like fingere to do something or to be someone else that you're oh, okay. not okay no, never mind rumore rumor sounds very close but like yeah. rumor is Gossip versus a uh, rumore in English is noise. What? Yeah, yeah I am confused now to following your sentences. Uh. Rumore, it's a noise. Okay, like rumoroso. Yeah. Sensibile. Sensible. Like it literally sounds exactly the same, just with an Italian accent. Sensibile. Nope, that means sensitive. Oh, right. A sensible person is una persona ragionevole. Ragionevole. Yeah. Simpatico. Sympathetic? I should know, I know that's not right, but I don't know what it actually means, but it sounds like sympathetic. You're simpatico. Una persona simpatica means someone who's nice. So okay, to nice be simpatico person. is a nice person. Thank you. Versus sympathetic is someone who is comprensivo. Comprensivo, which sounds like which comprehensive. Which is not comprehensive. Uh, uh, yeah. No. It's getting confusing. <laughs> and that was the last word. Which word stuck with you? Wow, so many. I was mainly focusing on my re facial reactions during this thing. Gen gentile? Gentile, yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're good. Okay. Which is a nice person. This was very confusing, but um, I hope we've, um, we shed some light on the false friends between Italian and English. It's a good idea to learn some of these basics so that you can avoid these easy mistakes. Just study. That's the that's, solution that's to everything. True. It's very confusing the other way around. When we learn English, we make these mistakes all the time. So don't beat yourself up too hard because it's totally comprehensible. No, it's compren... Co it's totally... See? See, can even... It's totalmente it comprensibile. We'll do a video on teaching Marco English. I was just using a false friend to make a point. If you like these type of videos, uh, make sure to subscribe and also check the Italian in a Box playlist. We have more of these videos in there, how to pronounce Italian words, um, how to gesticulate like an Italian, um, Italian dialects, and many more. And as always, thanks for watching. Marco in, in the box. box.